Well, welcome to another edition of In the Pocket. I love it when I catch up with this bloke, Peter Spider River, a legend of the game, of course, a great man. But I love it even more when the Tiggy train just rolls. Oh, we're from Tigerland. Oh, Nick yeah. Fury, yeah, I've already got the messages. I've still got them. Don't worry, I didn't reply either because I'll stick it getting them. Go, where the tide. Go, Tigers. Tigers are back. Diggy trunks full. <laughs> hey, mate, it was probably, we were cheering off for the picking, though, weren't we, big fella, last week? Like, the Cats had a, a, a few plays missing. Dangerfield obviously being the notable one, yeah. mate. But, um, but they did play Tiger-like footy, I think, which is, which is I think, and we haven't been too far away this season, Spide. No, nah, and that's the thing. You played the Tigers of old. You know, they got the ball running. They ran. They ran hard. Dusty found the footy. Cochin found the footy. Bolton was back in form. And, you know, and Geelong, on the other hand, you know, what got me right before the game, I heard that um, Richmond had more premiership players in than what Geelong did, which was uh, surprising. Yeah. And, you know, without Guthrie and without, um, you know, Dangerfield really coordinating things in the midfield, it was always going to find it hard. But still Geelong had been a good enough team and Tigers have been thereabouts but they haven't been there so you know this could be the the, the win they needed to launch their uh the year their campaign now mate I have to ask you you're an ex-city swan footballer where, where are the swannies at mate of course uh they played off in the grand final last year they got pumped by the cats uh is it a a, a premiership lot or a grand final loss Hangover spy like they're, they're currently sitting at three seventy five, all thanks to Palmerbet to uh, to to just make the eight. Where actually are they at? They got big decisions to make with Buddy Franklin, all that kind of stuff. Um, what's your thoughts, mate? Uh, well, you know, look, stats don't lie, and then you know, I think in the Sydney, Buddy isn't the answer. You know, unfortunately, the, the toughest thing with Buddy is how do you now send off a champion if your side's not going that well? You can't afford to play him as much as you want to, but, yeah. you know, Sydney, you've got to breed these new kids. You've got to give them opportunity. Yeah, Buddy will always drag the big the big uh, defender, but at the same time, are you really helping your team? What's that giving the Sydney Swans? So you want to see a champion out, but you want to see a champion go out, you know, like a Joel Selwood. You know, you're able to, on grand final day, Call it quits. You don't want to be, you know, sitting 16th, 17th on the ladder, getting pumped every week. you still got a superstar at full forward and you're not bringing any kids. So really tough decision for the Sydney Swans. If there's a side out there that can make those decisions and make and does that, it will be Sydney. They'll sit him down and say, this is where we're at. How do you want this to unfold? Let's work out a process of making sure that it works for everyone and let's not let the media dictate. Let us dictate that to the media. So let's wait and see. Do do you reckon he'll get the year out spot like your gut feel or do you reckon he might be I reckon he'll play time. six to eight games I reckon he won't play the away games he'll play a few at the SCG might play the, the easy games like this weekend um, but a few of the big games and you can't these days you can't afford to carry anyone yeah that's the issue and you're not really carrying buddy but at the same time you're not giving them an opportunity to grow so yeah. you know you still got some key players in the two so yeah for me I reckon he'll still play half a dozen games Mate, what about uh, the Western Bulldogs? They're a little bit shaky early on in the season, dropped a couple early, bounced back pretty hard. It was a solid win. They were challenged again on Saturday night by Carlton. Um, yeah, Carlton had a fair bit to play for. Um, the Bullies are back, um, but on the flip side, what about the Carlton football? Oh, mate, the, the Knives yeah. are out at the moment, aren't they, Spide? Absolutely. And look, we, we were all talking about booing last week. Boo, boo. Now, is it all right if you boo your own team? Because mm. Carlton's been booed by their fans the last two weeks. Yeah. And you know what? You kind of sit there and soon you'll have that bloke in the grandstand cutting up his memberships and throwing it at the front door. But they are struggling. They are really yeah. haven't got – but we knew this at the start of the year. They were probably overs at the start of the year. They didn't have a really tough run at the start. And, you know, outside of their you – know, they, they've probably got – you know, 10 players, but it's that bottom core that you've really got to look at. And that's, you know, on the other flip side, that's where the Wiston Bulldogs are very, very good. They've got enough players that have good contribution each and every week, which make them such a consistent team. So I think Carlton's still a fair way off. So I think a, a few people just got a little bit too excited at the start of the year. And, uh, you know, we don't want to see Carlton at the bottom, but when you see Carlton, Collingwood going so well, you've got to hate someone. Yeah. 
So I'll tell you what's you. a cracking game between Carlton and Collingwood this weekend too. Uh, remembering what happened in the final round of the season last yeah. year, the Pies get the job done to keep Carlton out. It was a nail biter. So uh, it's going to be plenty to plenty to plenty to play out there. What about your Saints, Spide? Um, you know they got trounced by by an Adelaide Crow outfit that's in pretty good nick at the moment. They got their pants pulled down. They just didn't play the game. But saying that, Adelaide didn't allow them to play their game. Yeah. They got some unbelievable. That Jordan, you know, Jordan Dawson for his you know, second year of footy, first year of skipper, like what a superstar. Big Tex, kicking five. They just did everything right. They had so many avenues to go. They beat them around the midfield. The Saints just had what well, you want to see them this weekend bounce back, just had an off day. And we've yeah. seen that with sides coming up against Adelaide in Adelaide. But you can't take anything away from Adelaide. They are a pretty polished team at the moment. They yeah, run my... hard. They chase hard. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they come in a fair bit in the uh, the premiership market because at the moment, I reckon you get really juicy odds. They'll play finals. Can they beat Collingwood? Can they beat the Cats come, you know, come September? Well, yeah. we'll wait and find out. But right now, um, I would be backing them to make the finals. Yeah, both Adelaide teams are up and about. Hey, let's have a look at the minor premiership odds, all thanks to Palmer Bet Spide. Collingwood currently sitting first on the ladder. They're at two dollars fifty. Melbourne sitting second at three twenty five. Brisbane a third at six twenty five. Port Adelaide fourth at fifteen bucks. The Saints fifth at twenty one. Western Bulldogs six at thirty four. Geelong a seventh. They're eight dollars uh, to get yeah. the premiership from there. Adelaide are eighth. They're eighty one dollars. Carlton ninth, one hundred and one. S and the tenth, one hundred and one dollars. Do you think it's going to come in those top three teams: Collingwood, Melbourne, Brisbane, or possibly the Cats? Spied. Yeah, look, the Cats. Look, Adelaide. Look, the way they're playing at the moment, they got still. You know what? Well, they're only a couple of games off the top. They only need to we beat a few. Um, the Cats. They're, they're uh, eighty-one bucks, mate. Now that is a juicy price. Absolutely, especially. You know, they're going to, they only need to win the next couple. And I think they're a chance. Like the way they're they playing at the moment. Right too. They play all right in a state, don't they? Yep. And they've got a young side. Like they, they've, they've got their superstars and they all play their play their role. But they've got a nice balance at the moment. I, I, I really enjoy watching them play. Collingwood, for me, is still the top team. I think Collingwood, you know, and they continue to improve. They continue to look good. Mason Cox comes back in, makes them look even better. I think, you know, Brisbane. Still, I'm not, I'm not convinced with Brisbane and Melbourne. Uh, I just didn't think Melbourne were good on the weekend, but Hawthorne really challenged them. That third quarter yeah. comeback nearly got it. Like couldn't get that 18 points, could get to 24, couldn't get to the 18. You, you look at them on paper and you think Melbourne should have blown them out of the water, which they finally did. So I'm not convinced with Melbourne. For me, I'd be having a couple of bucks on Adelaide and Collingwood. Mate, are the pies peaking too early, they spot? It's a long year. It's a topsy-turvy year, is it? You can't – can you sustain what you're doing now all the way through? Like, seriously, I, I just don't know whether they can. I tell you, as much as – and I was a Collingwood supporter when I grew up, so I'm not one of those people who hate Collingwood or love them. I like Collingwood, but I like them even more this year. Everything they're doing, they, they cannot do a thing wrong. We saw – on Anzac Day, Darcy Moore, speech, unbelievable. We yep. saw just on Mother's Day, the song being sung with all the mothers in the room. We saw the mum go in there and do the, the pre-game speech. Those unbelievable. So yep. why doesn't that get the players up? I think, you know, he's changing the feel of the, of the game each and every week. He's bringing something different in so it doesn't seem like a long season. All these little bits add into being refreshed and rejuvenated for a reason. So... For me, I absolutely, I, I think they totally believe they could go to the finals and win those three games with the self belief that they got. So I'm right. not, I'm not saying they've peaked too early. No way. Craig McRae has done an unbelievable job with that football club in the last uh, year and a half. That is for sure. Let's turn our attention to this weekend round ten action, mate. Uh, Port Adelaide taking on Melbourne Friday night at the Adelaide Oval. This has uh, all of a sudden got a fair bit. Uh, of interest in this contest. The power at 217, all thanks to Palmer Bet. Melbourne at $1.69 at the line. The power plus five and a half, a dollar ninety. Melbourne minus five and a half, a dollar ninety. Always hard to beat. And these are the kind of games Kenny Hinkley likes to get his side up for, doesn't he? Yeah, he absolutely does. And uh look, for me, I'm looking forward to Charlie Dixon. Hopefully he's in and on on Steve May. 
because those two will just butt heads. They'll be pushing, yep. shoving, biting, punching. They'll be doing everything. They'll be in each other's face. They'll be throwing the ball at each other. But they will be absolutely two enormous units, absolutely having a crack, 100%. And I love the one-on-one battles these guys show. So hopefully he shows up and uh, it is what it is. But for me, look, I just str- really struggle to tip against Melbourne. You know, with, with the quality of players that they've got across the field, to me, they're not running as good as they can. But when you've got your top three players, Viney, Petrarca and Oliver, they're in pretty good form. So I reckon they'll get over Port Adelaide. I do see uh, Christian Petrarca and uh, Clayton Oliver both firming again for Brownlow medal contention as well. So uh, they've had magnificent seasons. Uh, it's going to be a beauty Friday night. Saturday, uh, Marvel, Marvel Stadium, mate. It's the Kangaroos taking on the disappointing Sydney Swans. North Melbourne, $6.05. Sydney, $1.13. Kangas at the line, plus $38.50, $1.90. Sydney, minus $38.50, $1.90. Spied, like, is the line juicy here? Like, you know, do we see the Kangas yeah. possibly taking it up to the Swannies? Oh, I'd be, I'd be going the other way now. Oh, look, the Kangas are in dire straits at the moment. Mm. Uh, they need to bring... They're due, uh, though, aren't they? They're due. Well, they need to bring uh, Cunnington back, uh, yeah. a couple of others, because, yeah, they need somebody hard and fierce against Sydney as well. But, yeah, yeah look, they are due, but are they due against the Sydney Swans that are on the rebound and absolutely been crucified in every part of the media? They normally respond pretty well to that. So, you know, there's a lot of guys there in Sydney that were superstars last year that are not getting a lot of it this year. So you, I can't go past Sydney. I've got to say they've got to bounce back and bounce back hard. And I reckon North Melbourne will be the team. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting, man. I can't believe they're not playing Cunnington. He's like the spiritual leader of that team, regardless of uh, whether he's getting his hands on it or not. I think he just needs to play, doesn't he, Spide? Well, you do. You've got to have those hard nuts in there. You yeah. have to have hard nuts. And probably, yeah, it could be his last season. He'll probably find a new club next year and get one or two good good years out in and under, doing exactly what uh, you know Tommy Mitchell does at uh, Collingwood. Mate, I have to ask too. I didn't ask at the top, but uh, what's going on with the hair, mate? Is that a rinse or is that just the natural yeah, how, cut now, mate? Is it's that... just gone white. That's it's just white. Oh, no, no, no product. Like, I used to pay heaps of money to get my hair this colour in the 90s, and I should have just hung around for 30 years and got it for free. That is amazing. No, it's looking good, mate. It's getting a little bit glare off the what off the lights. But yeah, no, she's white. She's <laughs> like that. What's I should stick it up a little bit. It'd be like that uh, professor off uh, Back to the Future. <laughs> mate, I'll think it's more uh, Marshall Mathers, mate, M and M. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's looking good. Hey, uh <laughs> next game, Western Bulldogs taking on Adelaide, uh Saturday, two P uh two ten PM at Mars Stadium in Ballarat. Always get a good crowd here. Bulldogs always play well too. They're a dollar sixty. The Crows are two thirty four. At the line, the Western Bulldogs minus seven and a half a dollar ninety. Adelaide plus seven and a half a dollar ninety. Where the conditions can sometimes come into play here at Mars Stadium, uh, and there is a little bit of rain around too. One to seven mils uh, over the weekend. But gee whiz, spied the the form that Adelaide are in at the moment. How come they're two dollars? Uh, what are they? Yeah. Two dollars. Obviously, uh, Palmer bet they don't look at the guys in South Australia because. I would have thought Adelaide would have been favourites here. Yeah, in Ballarat, a little bit different. We've seen, you know, different tides go over there. And it's a, a, it's a different brand of football because, you know, we're, these guys are used to playing in stadiums. The wind isn't really a factor. There is a little bit of wind here and there. But I'll tell you what, there's nothing stopping the wind at Mars Stadium. You can kick it. You, know, you have got to really – this is the fun of watching football at a stadium like this, especially the professionals – is they've got to start using the the wind to kick goals. They've got to start utilising all these because normally it won't come into play, especially somewhere like um, you know the you know, um, Marvel Stadium. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So yeah. I love these games. I love the Western Bulldogs. I, I've ticked and I've changed my mind about ten times today. Adelaide, are, you've got nothing against Adelaide. There's no reason you should absolutely go the Bulldogs. But for me, I'm going to go the Bulldogs. I reckon Liber and the Bond. They're in good form. But Adelaide at two dollars fourteen is still still a really juicy market. No, I'm all over the Crows, mate. I reckon the Crows get the job done uh, against the Bulldogs on the weekend. Fremantle taking on Geelong Saturday four thirty five pm at Optus Stadium in Perth. Head to head, the Dockers two thirty, the Cats at a dollar sixty two. Fremantle at the line plus nine and a half a dollar ninety. Geelong minus nine and a half a dollar ninety. The Dockers need a scalp. Uh, they got the Cats at probably their most vulnerable. 
Uh, is yeah. this the result that they get, big fella? Well, they have. They've got them at their prime time. But I think, um, you know, still you've still got to beat Jeremy Cameron. You've still got to beat uh, Hawkins. I just don't think they've got the, the backline power to stop some of these big forwards. And, you know, Jeremy Cameron, he'll love the open wings of Optus Stadium. You've got Isaac Smith and a couple of the younger blokes. So I reckon last week's loss, Geelong, coach would have been able to go through it and say, this is what we need to do right. This is what we did wrong. And I reckon um, for me, I'm going to stick with the Cats. Too much experience. As much as Frio's found a bit of a, uh, found, you know, a bit of confidence, I don't reckon they're going to have all the answers for somebody like Geelong. And Jesus Cameron, pretty quiet, well held last week by Nathan Broad. He'll be uh, chomping at the bit to bounce back this week, you would imagine. Hey, uh, Brisbane v Gold Coast, the battle for uh, the Story Bridge Hotel uh, in Brisbane, mate. Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. at the Gabba. Uh, the line's $1.25. Gold Coast Suns at 4 bucks. At the line, Brisbane minus $24.50.90. Gold Coast plus $24.50.90. These two teams generally spied. Doesn't matter about ladder positions, they're generally close enough games. Yeah, they're good, they're good contests, and they de- generally do hype up a bit of hate between each other. You know, I live on the Gold Coast and we hate every any Brisbaneite coming down on the M1. They just pack our beaches and fill our <laughs> bars and ruin our <laughs> reputation. That's all they do. And then they nick off back to the uh the city that's got this big brown snake they call a river through the middle of it. So <laughs> Look, Jeez, they, mate, I hope you're not going to Brisbane anytime soon, big fella. <laughs> One thing they are doing though, this they're, they're selling out the Gabba. Yeah, you can't get a ticket. It? It's fantastic. Yeah. So they they are putting bums on seats. They're getting plenty of crowds there. Corporate sold out. Great spectacle. But for me, as as good as the Suns were last week, and finally King got a couple of marks. Matty Rao had something like seventeen odd odd tackles and uh, ate a little bit of turf over there at uh, Optus Stadium. He'll eat a little bit more up at the Gabba. Um, Brisbane's just got too much. You look at their firepower. You know, Charlie Cameron didn't kick a goal last week. Danaher stands up, kicks five, and you've still got so many other avenues. You know, you've got Eric Hipwood, and then you've got uh, you know, Lockie Neal's really found good form. So for me, yeah. yeah, Brisbane are in good form. They're sitting third for a reason. Right, mate. Massive game at the MCG. Dream oh. time at the G. It is going to be on like Donkey Kong. Been sold out for months, this game. Uh, 7.40 p.m. Under lights. Do yourself a favour. Watch the game on the big screen. It is absolutely sensational. Heads ahead. The Bombers are 2.36. Tigers are at $1.59. At the line, Essendon plus eight and a half dollar ninety. Richmond minus eight and a half dollar ninety. Pains me to say it's by, but I actually reckon Essendon are the value here. Oh, uh, no. Nah, I... The Bombers have got gone off a little bit. They're just not getting it as they were the first couple of weeks. And Tigers have found their mojo. One thing I do love, I'm not a massive fan of these all these individual rounds throughout the year, but dream time at the G is one of the great yeah. rounds. It's no, like Anzac Day. Yep. You know, they're the two that you really stand up and say, you know what, how good is this? Uh, how good are the jumpers? So much. Saw oh. the jumpers are Brilliant, aren't they? I love it. I love it. And uh, as you say, get up there, watch it no matter where you are. I reckon Tigers are a Monty here. Tigers will beat the Bombers. Uh, they've got their run. I know. I know. I don't. I'm not. A, but Dusty's back. Shy Bolton. Like Cochin finally found the footy. I reckon that uh, they, they've got that win that they wanted. They've uh, got a good run at the moment. And when they've got that slingshot and they're running forward, not too many sides are going to beat them. They're going to be up and about. So for me... I like the Tigers. I'm going to stick with the Tigers. And they might even scrape into my multi a little later on. Gee whiz, mate. I can't. Can you hear that? Yeah, we're, we're from Tiger. I'm going to have this for you at the start, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hey! <laughs> Best theme song in the land, mate. Make no oh, mistake about that, Spide. Hey, uh, right, let's move on to the next game, mate. We've got sidetracked there, but I hope you're right, big fella. <laughs> Hawthorne, Hawthorne taking on the West Coast Eagles. Sunday, 1-10 at Utah Stadium. Oh, it's going to be cold there, there, mate. Ooh, ahead, I'm going to be there. Oh, no, really? I'm going to – no, but I'm going I'm going into central Tassie, right in the middle, two hours into the middle of Tassie to Rosebury Turak Football Club. I'm going down there for the day, and yep, the high, the low of six, the high of ten. She's going to be chilly. 
Gee whiz, mate. That is uh, that is brave, uh, to be honest. Yeah. Have you been watching that new show on telly, The Summit? Uh, yeah. You might be, be auditioning for that. <laughs> That'd be like uh, me trying to get to the footy ground on Saturday morning. I think it's going to be very, very cold over there. Anyway, the Hawks, all thanks to Palmer, bet $1.28. West Coast at $3.70. At the line, the Hawks minus $24.50.90. West Coast plus $24.50.90. As you said before, mate, the Hawks were pretty good last week. Yeah, they were. They had that little little purple uh, purple patch that uh, they really challenged Melbourne. I reckon. I reckon the Hawks will win this. Nothing against the Eagles. I just, you know, you saw Darling last week break his arm, still can do a fracture his arm and still continue to play. What a spirited guy! But then, oh, yeah, you know, the Hawks were the Hawks have just got too much at the moment. I think they've got some really good young kids. The only thing I say to the AFL, like it's Hawthorne versus the Eagles. They're sixteenth, seventeenth on the ladder, or maybe even eighteenth. Open the gates. Let yeah, everyone let in. Them in. If there, there's the local joint. footy, yeah, fill the joint. There's local footy clubs that want to come in and bring the whole, bring them all in. Great call. Fill the place. Just, you know what, for the money you make, you'll be doing better by letting everyone in for free and have a good afternoon there. I couldn't agree more. That's a great idea, Spide. Well done. I love it, mate. Get down there. Uh, well, it's two sides that are going to have to rebuild and regrow, yeah. and Hawthorne's given so much to Tassie, you know, over the years. We know yeah. they're getting their own team. Well, you know, let's start celebrating some of these games, and instead of having three or four, let's get ten or 15,000. Let's get a heap of kids there. If you're in the local community and you've got footy on and you, you, know, you, you haven't got a game at that time, get in there and play. Get in there and have a look. Love it, mate. Great thought process, big fella. Hey, this is going to be a beauty on Sunday afternoon. Uh, it is going to be one oh. of the best watch games. Uh, and I reckon Carlton are going to be absolutely on fire against Collingwood, especially their supporters. Uh, 3.20 is kickoff. MCG, it'll be a packed house spot. Head-to-head, the blue bag is 302. Collingwood, $1.39 at the line. Carlton, plus 16 half $1.90. Uh, Collingwood, minus 16 and a half $1.90. Mate, can the Blues, can they cause a little uh, bit of a mini look, upset, big fella? You'd love to throw it out there. You'd love to think that Ligon Street could absolutely go <laughs> bunter on, on Sunday night. Uh, but I just they, they just haven't got the firepower. They, I mean, yeah. they've got the firepower. They just haven't got the depth of what Collingwood's got. As I mentioned, Collingwood's in it. You know, they bring big Mason Cox in, you know, Gets the you know, probably best on ground behind De Goey and Nick Dacos is still getting 41. They've just got so many avenues and so many superstars and just a really good balance. You want to see a really good game. At the same time, I think most supporters love to see one of these clubs struggling. So <laughs> let's continue to kick Carlton while they're down. And let's go to the pies. <laughs> kick a blue bag and make a lot of the old kick a Nick back in the yeah. day. The pies. Well, you can't. It's hard to tip against Collingwood at the moment. They're just doing everything right. On and off the field. That's right. Before. Yeah, they're, they're just a, a great team and uh, people are, are falling in love with them and, you know, they're getting thousands of training just to watch and it's a, it's just going to continue, just that snowball that's going to continue to to grow and grow and grow. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough day for Carlton. But, you know what, yeah, miracles do happen. Yeah. Don't give up, Blues. No, nah, and they're going to be up and about, I reckon. They're, they're, they're due to kind of take a scalp for mine. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, three bucks might be, uh, you know, come Sunday night, we might be going, how come we didn't have some of that? Hey, GWS taking on the Saints final game, 4.40 p.m. at Giants Stadium, big fella. The Giants head-to-head, 218. The Saints at $1.69. At the line, GWS plus $5.50. $5. St. Kilda minus $5.50. $5. Spide, um, what are we thinking here, mate? Oh, I'm Giants thinking the Saints. Their good's been good. Yeah, I've rated the Giants. I was on them a couple of weeks ago. Toby Green, if he comes back in, he makes a huge difference to that side. But then if the Saints, they lost memory, if they bring in King, massive difference to that side as well. So, look, there's plenty of upside for both of these teams. I just think right now, the way St Kilda got so defeated last week in all their key areas, they, they have to do something. They need to bounce back. Ross Lyon won't allow them to have two weeks like that. They, they need to win the contested ball. They got smashed out of the middle. They got done on turnovers. It was just that loss they had to have, even though Adelaide's a good team. And, you know what I mean? Even if it is, is it Giants, I still reckon the Saints need to bounce back, and I'll, I'll be back in the Saints. No. <laughs> Gee, you've done your homework, haven't you? This week? How many times did you sing this back in your heyday, big fella? <laughs> Oh, not too many. We were, we, we, 
We were north. We're, unfortunately, we were probably down down south. But uh, when we did sing it, we made sure we sung it. And we made sure we celebrated it as well. Hey, mate, absolutely. Hey, oh, I, I forgot to ask you at the start too, mate. So we've got Dusty Martin's boot in the background. I can see that. We've yeah. got uh, the Gold Coast Suns, Matty Rail jumper. Uh, we've got the Adelaide Crows. Who's on the Crows jumper again? Uh, Rashudo. Oh, the big Roo. How can we forget the that? The big Roo. Molly, Molly Meldrum's guitar. Yeah, uh, sawing guitar. We're just running with that. And then it? I've just put a, a a Vic jumper just over my shoulder there. Oh, I can see it. I can see the yeah. Vic. You have a look at that, mate. Just That's not the Teddy Witten. Is it a Teddy Witten game or a no? Lynch no, no. Uh, just just one of mine with all my stats on it. I just thought, you know, what? you might like you might want that in the back background of your studio there. So <laughs> I got a couple of them printed up, and I thought I'd put one there. That is great, mate. Look what I got behind me, mate. Absolutely nothing. I got a few phone numbers over here. <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty bare, my wall, mate. Pretty bare. That's all right. We'll we'll make it grow. We'll build on it. Now, Spite, I want to go to your best bets now, mate. Uh, last week you got two out of three, okay, for your minus nine and a half try bets. The Saint killed a footy club, let you down. Yeah, so that was yeah, disappointing. One out of four for your two plus gold multi. So that's probably been the worst you've gone all year, to be honest. Yeah, but I'll give you a reason. You know, you know what I, you know, this is the issue. Yes. I had a couple of multis over the weekend, right? I love, love the pies, loaded up on all these different multis. Of course, yep. I get let down by one leg. Oh. Like a lot of people, always yeah. that one leg. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if you have a four leg, six leg, eight leg, ten leg, one leg lets you down. Always one. Yeah. You know what it was? No, tell me. Scott Pendlebury, to oh, get twenty he, touches. What he does that. He does that with his eyes closed. What did he end up with? No, it, it was a sub. He got subbed off. No, no man. but as a technical slut, sub, not even as an injured sub. Technical no. sub. Like let him get his other four touches, and bring him on. So and the sub, other one to subbed him off with sixteen. That's shattering, mate. And the other one, okay, with those two. Two goals, right? I was right on it because memory. No, this is no joke. He'd already kicked one. Yeah. Right. Going for his second, 25 meters out, going for a mark, takes it. Hang on. Takes the mark, knocks himself out. And so, <laughs> so there's knocks your two. It. Yeah. That's, so, so that would have been so, two, two legs down. I, I just see my multi getting carried off by two <laughs> trainers and it couldn't carry you. It should be a mercy oh. rule or something there, shouldn't there, mate? If, if you get Absolutely. The street, I reckon it should be just a green tick. There uh, has to be something because they're the ones that really cost me. So, look, my two multis this weekend. Yep. Give I'm going to double down. What's that? Give it to us, mate. What do you got for us? Okay. I'm going to go for 25 plus. I like 25 plus. Yep. Okay, right. three yep. legs. Yep. 25 plus. I'm going the Tigers. Oh, yep. The Tigers. I'm going Collingwood over Carlton, 25 plus. Yep. And I'm going Sydney, 25 plus. Yeah, right. Eh? Fair call. Cool. That's going to give us uh, $9.04, mate, all thanks to Palmerbet. So that's good. I love that little multi. Right. Eh? That's what a good one. For us, mate? Well, I like this three goaler. Yep. I'm going off two. What? Because going to three. Yeah, but there's. Yeah, but there's there's a lot of goals being kicked by some big names. Yep. So I'm going with the big names right, to eh? kick three. The so I reckon Jeremy, Jeremy Cameron. Tick. It is due. Yeah. Optus yep. over. Yep. yep. Charlie Cameron. Nothing last week. Yeah, at is. the Gabba. Yep. He'll carve it up. Yep. And I'm going Bruce. Look, Bruce. You'll get his hand on the ball. Against West Coast. Absolutely. Right, eh? So that's going to give you uh, $8.05 with the three of them. Uh, yeah. And, then- and if you want, I would chuck in another. Yeah, I'd chuck in Papley just if you wanted a fourth leg in there. Well, for three as well, Papley. Yeah. Right, well, that's going to get you to 16.34, mate. So that's pretty. There you go. Well, it's three, three plus four plays. That's nice, mate. And uh, the all important big fella, we want the pick nine, mate. What do you got for us, buddy? Oh, yeah, my pick getting nine. Close. I am getting close. I'm around the money. Look, and yeah. to be honest, not too many. Like, I know you would have picked the Tigers last weekend, but not too many would have picked Fremantle at the SCG. Nah, I don't know. Nah, nah. So, I would have liked to see how many got nine last week. But I'm going Melbourne. Yep. He's going Melbourne, Sydney. 
Yep. The Bulldogs, which is going to be tough, but at Mars. Geelong. Yep. The Lions. Yep. I'm on the Tigers. The Hawks. Yep. The Pies. Yep. And the Saints. Right, mate. That is for a pick nine. That is going to give you twenty nine dollars and five cents, mate. That's good money. That's the Palmer bet, mate. That's just giving you. That's good money, money because there's only a couple of contro ones in there, mate. You know, like yeah. you yep. look probably the Adelaide one's probably the toughest one of the weekend. I reckon Adelaide Bulldogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just, I, I don't know. I've got a sneaking suspicion. I, I'm not confident on the Tigers as you are. You're, you're very confident, thinking they're going to win by four plus goals, but I easy. Reckon- Oh, geez, I hope you're right, mate. I'll get nervous. Uh, the other one is I, I actually just got a feeling about Carlton, maybe on the big stage, oh, big crowd. Last year's last game, same ground, get a few demons. Oh, no. You, wrong, can give, you can think about this all you want. What? I but don't I tell you what, it doesn't matter what you do, they won't get over the line. Hey, I love it, big fella. Download the Palmer Bet app, of course. Wonderfully easy app to navigate around. Gamble responsibly, okay? That is the key message. Do it in a responsible manner. Uh, and if gambling is a problem, and think about what you're actually really gambling with, uh, then check out the website, of course, and uh, dial the number uh, to uh, to get some help and find out more. Spot, you have a wonderful weekend in Tassie, mate. Oh, yeah. It's going to be cold, but it's going to be good. <laughs> I'd, I'd be packing the scarf. I'd be packing the beanie. I'd be packing absolutely. Oh, look, I'll be beanie. honest with you. I'd pack a beanie, but real men don't wear scarves. Oh, yeah. No, fair oh. cool, mate. I can honestly <laughs> put my hand up and say I've never worn a scarf yes. in my life, big fella. So I'll be <laughs> Hey, listen, mate. Going to be a wonderful round 10 action. All thanks to Palmer Bet. This has been In the Pocket. And Spy, we'll see you next week, big fella. Absolutely. Good luck. Think, is this a bet you really want to place? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.